In this video, you will learn a real quick way of inserting a text over an image in Microsoft Word. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is insert your image. So go to insert on the ribbon, then go to pictures and you can insert a picture from this device. You can use stock images or you can go to online pictures. So I'm just going to go to this device. I'm going to grab the image that I want to insert and you can see it's now inserted on the Word document. So the first thing you need to do is change the layout of the image. So when you insert an image in Word, it automatically defaults it to the inline with text layout. This makes it difficult to move around. So you can see I'm grabbing it and I'm trying to move it and it's not going anywhere. So if you want to add the text over the image, then the image needs to be changed so that it's behind the text. So to change it, simply select the image and then click on the layout options icon which appears here on the right hand side you can click on there and you can see the text wrapping if you hover over each of these it tells you a tooltip appears telling you what the layout is going to be so we want behind text so if we click on there and you can now grab it and it will move wherever you want it to another way of getting to the layout options is to click on the image and then go to picture format at the top of the ribbon here Go to the arrange group here, click on wrap text, and then you've got the different options here. So just click on behind text there and it's the same thing. So once you've changed the layout, the next thing is to add the text. So click on insert in the ribbon, go over to text and click on text box. You've got some pre-built ones here. We don't want any of those. We want to actually put in a new text box ourselves. So we go to draw text box here and then simply draw a text box anywhere on the picture. Type out the text that you want to include. And it's just a matter of using the text formatting options that are available to you on the home tab of the ribbon. So click on home and the usual font um, options that are available to you there. You can just change the text using those. So I'm going to change the font to courgette. Then I'm going to increase the text size by clicking on this icon here to increase font size. And lastly, I want to change the text color. So click on the icon here for font color and choose a color that you want. You can also add more colors here and put in your own custom color if you want to. So I'm just going to choose a different color. So that's fine. Now, anytime you insert a text box into Word, it's automatically got a white background with a black border around it, which you can see here. You can keep that as it is if you want to, but if you do want to change it, then you just click on the outline of the text box, then click on shape format in the ribbon at the top here, and you can change the background color by choosing a different color under shape fill. So you can choose any one of these colors. You hover over them and you can see it changing in light as a live preview. If you don't want any background color, you want it to be transparent, then click on no fill here. And you can see the background is now gone. And the same goes with the outline of the text box. So with the text box still selected, go to shape format at the top of the ribbon and go to shape outline. And again here, you can choose a different color if you want to. You can make the box a bit thicker, the outline a bit thicker. You can also change the style of the outline as well. So you can have wavy lines, um, you can change the actual style of the, the line itself, as in you can have dashes and dots, etc. Or if you don't want an outline at all, then choose no outline and it will get rid of the outline completely. If you are removing the outline, then a quick tip here is to position your text box where you want it first before removing the outline. Otherwise, it can make it a bit tricky to grab it and just move it. You see, I'm grabbing the picture instead. Whereas if you click on the text, you can see the outline is highlighted here. You click on the outline and then move it to wherever you want it to go to. Now, the final thing I want to show you is if you want to move the text box and the image together at the same time, click on the text box, then hold down the control click key and click on the image behind it. So both of them are selected. And then if you right click and go to group and you can group them together and then you can move them both together wherever you want them to go. So let me know if there's anything else you find frustrating when it comes to using Word and I'll see if I can help. Remember to give this video a like if you found it helpful and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.